Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here's your weekly technical analysis of Chicago wheat and corn. I'll start with Chicago wheat. Okay, the first pattern we need to look at here is the well-telegraphed early March to early June sideways triangle. Now, I'm the first to say this is not a good-looking example of such a pattern, but I also say that it still has merit. Target X was the primary target in the 953 area. This was achieved three weeks ago. We next have target X1, the harder to reach secondary target in the 700 area. This target is still live. The second pan is obviously a related one, in adjacency if not in style. It is to take the formation between the head and second shoulder of the earlier reverse head and shoulders pattern in April, with head in May and the, to be honest, limp looking second shoulder formed in June, to make a regular head and shoulders top between April and June. The primary target X2 for this pattern was in the 922 area and that was reached two weeks ago. Target X3, the harder to reach secondary target, is in the 800 area and was reached last week. The 50% Fibonacci line for the May 2019 March 22 move at 891 and the 50% Fibonacci line of December 17 to March 22 move at 887 plus until recently the slowly rising long moving average currently 920 all provided limited support on the way down but chose to provide interesting resistance for a change this week along with the November 2012 high at 9.30 even if only on an opening basis last week. Prices have since Monday moved lower down to the lows of last week. Question now is whether the market will try and make a base here or perhaps a bearish halfway hesitation or even a bear flag. This with target X1 still unachieved, still unachieved. There is one more possible pattern that has developed since the last time I looked here. It is to regard the February 2022 to date action as a big M pattern using the more conservative high from May. This would give a primary target in the 866 area and a secondary harder to get target in the 715 area. Well, the primary target has already been achieved, but now we have two potential if harder to get targets below the market. Now, one final point, and it is this. Should the market dip below 785 today and then close anywhere below 843, well, then we'd have a weekly key reversal down this week. And that's one to watch for the next few hours. Chicago corn. Three weeks ago, I drew my first bearish Andrews picture for I don't know how long here. Since then, the market started to try and use it. Now, given that the market has not seen a bearish pitchfork of any kind for I don't know how long, the market's attempts to utilize it have been good enough, if sloppy. We currently have support from the lower time, that's currently at 574, and resistance from the middle time, currently 628, and upper time, currently 681. Now, the only other pattern that's occurred since last time is the March to June head and shoulders tough. Both primary and secondary targets for this head and shoulders have already been achieved, hence lack of targets on the daily chart. This ties in nicely with the late April to July bear flag, which, though I pointed out previously, has also seen its targets below reached. This leaves us with, leaves us, leaves us with the action over last week and this, and I confess I'm a little bemused. You see, apart from the low of 2022, made back in January in the 586 area, I see no real reason as to why the market halted early last week where it did. It is not an obvious point apart from that low. The reaction back up the, through the February, uh, sorry, the Fibonacci congestion as when as if it did not exist, and that's between 621 and 622. But it was understandable as if there was no way down, then the market rose back up through a fairly free area um, to be halted in its rise this past Monday by a combination of the slowly rising long moving average currently 660 and the 50% Fibonacci line of September 21 to April 2022 move at 661 and most especially by the de sharply declining short moving average currently 638. This caused the subsequent decline. 
Yet the market seems to be now unsure where to go, up towards what seems to be declining resistances or lower where there seems to be some significant stationary support. This situation may go on for a week or two, as, but I suspect we may see consolidation if the market does not choose one way or the other. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyrights Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.